1981, and this is the time where there's a particular type of horror film yes. that was very big. Huge! This is the slasher boom. Slasher uh, boom. Jamie this, Lee Curtis. Oh my, yeah, I right. love This was This was a, basically almost every holiday was Halloween. a day of, of killing. Sure. <laughs> right. Friday so, now, right. now, it's, now it's mattress sales. <laughs> <laughs> well, with my family, it's still killing. But, uh, <laughs> you were in a very but th this is a special. kind of iconic yes. film, which was a happy birthday to me. Happy mm, birthday uh, to me. To, Directed by another another uh, quite renowned director, Jay Lee Thompson, who Cape directed Fear. Uh, um, Guns, Guns and Guns and Guns Arrow, Arrow. Oh, yeah. Tiger Bay, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, yes, Battle, Battle for the Planet of the, the Apes, <laughs> yes, Cape Fear, uh, by the way. One of my favorite movies of all time. Battle it, for the Planet it, of the Apes, no, man. No, 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 so much. Cape Fear. <laughs> we, 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 don't, we see Cape Fear and we see the Scorsese one and it's yeah. fa fabulous. Oh, sure, fabulous. Yeah. I, don't, yeah, I would argue a little and over then, the top. And then you watch J. Lee Thompson's. And that's the real deal. Oh yes. yes. Robert Mitchum in that thing. The subtle Another thing that he does. That it, it was the Rigurdy Drink. Yes. yes. Right. Yeah. But, 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 Lisa was, but Lisa wasn't in that film. I want to get to Happy Birthday to me. Okay. Okay, so here's the thing on Happy Birthday to Me. Yes. With the A-list the a actors in yes. Canada all were in Happy Birthday to Me. Yeah. Okay. You had a cast. It was quite a cast. The B-list yes, B -list were in the low-budget film, not shortly, when we were shooting in Montreal. The B-list of Canadian actors that were up and coming okay. were all shooting in the Maritimes, My Bloody Valentine. Oh! oh. 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 Gotcha. That's which is another. So, so, so the C list was Arbor Day Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually don't remember that. So, I, so, so for example, um, oh god, I can't believe I can't remember her name. She's a really good actress. Melissa. The girl who who starred in My Bloody Valentine. Is... Oh, oh, oh. oh. Um, this is one of those moments. We have a magical device. We're having a junior senior moment. <laughs> Lori Hellier? Okay, yeah, wait, wait, Lori okay. Hellier was my stand in. Say that again. On happy Lori Hellier was my stand in on uh, Happy Birthday to Me. Uh huh. And I felt really bad because she I knew she was a great actress and she was going going to national theater school. Yeah. And she was my stand in. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and then and, and then also they all got like, you know, hauled off to do this film that sounded like exploitation film, mm -hmm. you know, My Bloody Valentine, where, yeah. you know, they're all treated badly and paid badly, and anyway, but um, she went on to be, a, you know, this great actress, and she was great in that movie, and also great gal, great broad, but uh, Happy Birthday to Me, same thing, we were all just, we don't, we just met with Lee Thompson, that's all. You just met with him? Really? No really? reading, and initially, I was going in for the Tracy Bregman part. Oh. And I had it, and wait, wait, then Tracy okay. Bregman became a born again Canadian as well, and because she had more TVQ, which at that time it was the first time you know TV became important. Because up to then I, I didn't even do TV for ever, because in those days people didn't cross over, mm -hmm. and so she became a born again Canadian, so she qualified for the tax shelter, and she had big TVQ because she was a big you know soap opera star, mm -hmm. so she got the the role opposite. Um, Melissa Sue Anderson. Yeah, which is, was my role. But that, that, wow. that, that's, that's fine. And for our listeners, Melissa Sue Anderson, who is famous for doing The Little House on the Prairie. Right. She yes. was the older sister, yes. by the way. Yes, and the blind one. Yes, well, she eventually kind of becomes blind. Oh. And, and this was like her big... Kind of, a little bit of a break, though, for her yeah. to play this kind of character, too. Yeah, right? very in a, in a, different. In a, in a here, horror film, think, a slasher very, very different. But, very but, but shown at the same time with a big-name director. I think... I, I don't think people thought of this as an exploitation film exactly. Well, no, no, it, it, you know, it, it yeah, wasn't. It was no. big budget for the time. Yeah, for the time. And a very smart, unusual screenplay. There's a lot of twists and turns all the way through that thing. Yeah. Half the time you're like, wait a minute. What? Yeah, what? Yeah, the camera moves confused. are great. Oh, yeah. Yes. And then they were disruptive. Like, See, John Huston, he keeps the, the camera stagnant, and he just watches the scene. And... What, 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 and and then like so, so there's two kinds of directors too that I that, that you I, I find and th there's one that what they do is they say this is how the camera is going to move and so you have to choreograph your performance around the camera and then there's the, the great directors that they do they watch the rehearsal and then they set up the camera and so it's much more right. organic <laughs> and uh, Lee would do that and Lee also knew how to work with stand-ins, which a lot of directors oh. don't know how to do. So so what would happen is the, 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 the principal actors, we would do the scene, and then they would light with the extras, not the extras, the stand-ins. But the, the other thing, too, is I, I find that so, some directors, he, like Lee Thompson, his, his, his camera moved a lot, but yeah. it didn't get 
in the way like you're not looking at the camera. Right, it's not bringing not right. bringing attention to itself. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And you with the the other thing I noticed with the great directors is there's not superfluous takes or anything because they're editing in their heads. Right. And right. Of my favorite first time directors, it's always editors. Like transformations, first time director yeah. that, that director um now we'll I, get to that. I, I, I loved him. But if it's a first time director or writer, it's a nightmare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Now, now, just really quickly, Sean, uh, the happy birthday to me. The 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 basic concept. Well, it's kind of like it's like this kind of high school clique, you know, these kind of rich kids, and uh, Melissa Sue Anderson is kind of haunted by her. Um, she's part of this of this clique. Yeah. She's yes. kind of haunted by this past where her mother died, and it and involves, it's tragic. Yeah, and, and this happened is, on her birthday. Yeah. And as people to hang with, these are not good people. But but but, but Sean, that this accident is like there's a br it's a bridge. Right. There's what a, are those? It's a, not a suspension. A, it's a, a drawbridge. A drawbridge. Yeah, yeah, where right. the car is. Urban broad drawbridge. Yeah. Drawbridge. But the movie was kind of promoted too for being like, uh, I think it was some like you know eight of the most unusual murders you've ever seen. <laughs> they are. They were unusual. It, yeah. it was like the phobia was the most unusual uh, uh, deaths as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but now, but I had no I, idea who was the killer. Well, no, I, I, I had right? no idea. Sometimes it's kind of confusing. We didn't know either. They kept yeah. changing it. Like, they, right. they wouldn't say it, and and, and 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 so we didn't know either. Really, it's, it's pretty yeah. outrageous. But I would say that that really makes it sin, stand out from a lot of the other slasher films. Completely it's, it's, agree. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of well, crazy, that's, that's but it's so great. That's so interesting. And I, that I, you guys, I didn't know that people wouldn't figure that out. And also, in, in the original movie, I am killed too. I get the accident. You the are head. killed. That's because I was like, but, but it was right? going to be an X rating, so they made really? a survivor. No, you're yeah, literally you, the only like, one who you, survived. You can cut <laughs> off a woman's breasts in a movie. <laughs> Okay. But God forbid you get the axe in the head. Oh, okay, yeah, but but I just want to to, to listeners that I mean I don't remember that scene and uh, a breast being cut off and. No, no, I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm saying. Because you know, you know what's funny? It's an example. Like, I know that's an example. Yeah. You know, it, it was like I remember I had an agent who called me up and he said, okay, so you, you, Robert De Palma wants to see you for this this movie and it, it opens and you're getting a drill going through your chest. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I said, yeah. I, I really don't want to do that. Yeah. And he said, but it's a Robert De Palma movie. Or Brian De Palma? Right. Brian, sorry, Brian De Palma. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, demon booze. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but anyway, um, yeah, Lee Thompson, another real great gentleman. Um, I don't know how he did it because most of that film was shot at night. Yeah. And um, it looks it, really good. Yes, and, it and, and you had, you had a, it's a great cast. You had uh, Glenn, Glenn Ford. Yeah, Glenn, Glenn Ford. Another, another born again Canadian. Which he really was surprised. Born in Quebec City, we found out. It gave that film, I think, some credibility. You know, I mean, he had done, you know, Superman. He had oh, killed, are you kidding I mean, I mean, he's me? Big. Like, you know the, uh, the, the amount of films that guy did. Yeah, he was I mean, like John Wayne. I can't yes. believe you. I, I, he got into the film called Happy Birthday to Me, but you know, and and uh, kind but of like he's a good in it. Yeah, he's sure. great. And he's, he's great in it, and I, you know, I, I'm so glad I did this now. But and it was really embarrassing at the time. But on my first film, I got an autograph book. <laughs> oh, that's and I'm, I was really embarrassed at the time, but I'm so glad I did this. And so I, 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 just like at the end of the year when you have your yearbook, I had people sign it. And I have all, everybody. I have like Floyd Chabrol, John Huston, Glenn oh, Ford. Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't do that at all. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, would you sign my forehead? <laughs> <laughs> well, do, you know, but do, I was just doing it for memorabilia. And but, now I can't believe I have. Those Did you do that throughout your career? Legacy, yeah. Yeah. So you yeah, had and, then, and then I moved oh on to actually having them sign a photograph. Oh. Of because I went to, I went to Sally Kellerman's house, and she had all these pictures in her kitchen, and she said, you know, you'll be happy that you did this. I started having everybody sign photographs, and so I've done that. So I have like pictures of them signed with me, like from J. Lee Thompson and and and, and uh, John Huston, and I'm so glad I did it now. Oh okay. yeah, sure. Yeah, and Roddy then, McDowell had a whole bathroom that he had people. <laughs> Roddy sign. McDowell, yeah. I had I asked him to write a letter for my green card, and I have a I have oh, one for man. him. I have one wow. for John Huston for my green card. I I, I, I can't believe I went up and, and I asked these people, would you would you write? Writing a letter to immigration for me for my my green card. That's so wow. fantastic. But Roddy awesome. Medell would get that because he is an yeah. immigrant. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now and you still have these letters, right? I still have them. Oh, now, just for our listeners, Roddy McDowell is not in Happy Birthday <laughs> to me. That's <laughs> yeah, cool. They are confused about that. Yeah, look, I'm just I'm just saying because you know I know. Lisa yeah, our listeners have never with, seen no, Happy no, Birthday. No. So <laughs> one of the best lines in Happy Birthday to me. Um, 
it was you know in, in, in you know you have to have these medicals before um, like a lot of these films so you you, the, you pass the insurance and yeah. I, I don't know where I was, but I wasn't there. But Leslie Donaldson tells this story, and so uh, they were all in the waiting room uh, for this doctor, and Jack Bloom comes in, you know the actor Jack Bloom, mm -hmm. and says, "Where's the party?" And Lenore Zan at that time had this whole career playing Marilyn Monroe, so she did this Marilyn Monroe. Uh, voice when he said, so where's the party? And she said, well, it's certainly not up your ass because you'd be feeling it. And now that she's a member week. of parliament in Canada. Oh, wow. 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 Don't we love her? We do. Yes, we do. <laughs> so you were, you were killed. With, the scene was actually filmed. I got the, yes, I got so the you... axe in the head. And the other, like what Lee Thompson would do, he'd carry around this styrofoam cup filled with blood. Uh-huh. <laughs> And he'd he'd at, they'd shoot it. And he'd throw the blood. And say, <laughs> we need more it's blood. Cool. And I thought he was out of his mind, but he was right. Wow. So yeah, yeah. And on that, and what happened to me is, um, you know, I'm not actually a natural blonde anymore. Oh. Some people know this. I, I, I you know. <laughs> now now everybody knows. You know, maybe, you know, <laughs> you know, you, you, you know um, but anyway, I, I, with that blood in my scene. It colored my hair like oh, it, because no. my hair was processed. Right. And I couldn't get the red out. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Did that then lead to class of 1984? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> convenient. Couldn't get that color out either. If I was smarty yeah. at the time, I don't know what what I was thinking. I should have worn a wig. 